Hey you, welcome back. I am Nat from Nat's Numbers, also known as the Numerology Chick over on Instagram, and I am here on numerologist.com to celebrate this incredible month. This is your April 2022 numerology forecast. So April is actually, according to numerology, the official new beginning of 2022 of this new year because this is a one universal month. <sighs> the one is a month that is about fresh starts it's about new beginnings it's about feeling ambitious and feeling inspired and feeling motivated again if up until this point you have been feeling a bit stagnant stuck in limbo like the past keeps reeling you in <laughs> this is going to be a month of absolute reprieve for you the one is here to say now is the time now is the time to go 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 do 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 to engage in this new era of your life or to engage in this new thing that you're wanting to create that's on your heart now it's really important to remember that every single timing cycle that we're in is not just something that is going to deliver rewards to us without us having to do anything Every single month is an opportunity for us to embrace this archetype and to learn how to become more proficient at it. So here in April, if you want to access these new beginnings, if you want to feel those new ideas come, those new inspirations, if you want to feel the progress and the speed and the movement in that category of your life where you're wanting change, it's imperative to learn how to activate the number one. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. So if you look up in numerology books, the difference between a number in a timing cycle and the number in a person's chart, it's fascinating because it's actually sharing with you deep spiritual truths and wisdoms. So if you look up the number one in a timing cycle, it's about new beginnings, fresh starts, a treading your own path, going your own way right? But then if you look up the number one as it presents itself within a person's spiritual DNA, you'll hear things like this is a number of becoming independent, of being willing to stand out, of being unique, and ultimately of being willing to honor and sanctify your own personal individual desires. And so this is a spiritual truth and wisdom because what it's saying to us is the way that we access new beginnings the way that we can play with this incredible superpower of the universe is by honoring our individual desires and honoring our uniqueness. Fascinating, right? That that's the way that we click the reset button, that that's the way that we move to this next era of our life is via our individual desires. I've come to believe from my own personal work in my life and that of my clients in my private practice that um, that oftentimes the universe, I call it the zero, the zero answers our prayers first via personal desires. So we might have a dream. We might say, for instance, at the beginning of this year, we might say to ourselves, there is this dream on my heart. I want to make X amount a month to better support myself and my family, or I want to heal my body of this condition, or I want to deepen love in my life. So we'll state that desire. We'll, we'll have this moment where we tell our cosmic best friend, this is what's most on my heart. This is what I want. And then the initial answer to our prayer, the initial sort of breadcrumbs and instructions that we get are in the form of these inner desires, of things that feel good, things that feel right, things that put a smile on our face, ideas that just make us feel happy, right? So it might be that you have this random idea to hire a business coach if you're looking to increase revenue, or it might be to pursue um, a different sort of niche in your industry just because you like it, just because it's something that inspires you. It might be that um, you feel guided to, um, you know, redo your website or you feel guided to start a new hobby. You feel guided to go and do something you've never done before. Like whatever it is, there are these desires that are seated within you that are answers to your prayers. They're, they're, they are the instructions of what is the next best step to take to move to the next level. So this is the key here in April. The key is 
this is the time to take action. This is the time to get to work on this new beginning. This is the time to take those insights and those inspirations that you're receiving about what you want, what you love, what feels good to you and own them and act on them and stand tall and proud in the knowing that your own version of success or your own path to manifestation is going to be unique. It's going to be different than everybody around you. And only you and your cosmic best friend are privy to that. You lean into what feels good. You lean into the ideas and the insights and the inspirations that are coming through to you. And you honor your own individual desires as what they are. They are answers to your prayers. So my only assignment for us this month is to just give ourselves permission to want what we want, is to ask ourselves, you know, if I could do this in a way that feels right to me, that feels good to me, if I could really be willing to tread my own path, to go my own way, what would that look like? New beginnings are here in April and our creator is asking us to listen to the insights and the inspirations and the desires that it has seeded within us so that we can move to the next level, so that we can build momentum, so we can progress forward and really start to feel the blessings of 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure to be a subscriber to the numerologist.com newsletter list so you're notified the moment that we upload the next monthly forecast. I appreciate you guys so much.